yum yum. Oh yeah, I'll just 
One day, Thomas was busy delivering logs on Misty Island. All of a sudden, a tree fell on the track right in front of Thomas. That was close, he said and was about to leave when he saw something glisten by the falling tree. It was a shield. His driver got out and examined it. It's got a dragon on it, he said. I think it's from Dragon Island. Dragon Island? I've always wanted to go there, replied Thomas. So the driver boarded Thomas and they decided to go to Dragon Island. Wow, said Thomas, it looks amazing. He tried to enter, but he was just too wide. Luckily, he had an idea. He soon returned with his mini-me. Good luck, said Thomas. I wonder if you'll see the dragon. And in he went. Wow, said the mini-me. Unfortunately, as he got closer, the volcano started to erupt and the quickest way out was on the zip wire which started inside the volcano itself. That was fun, said the mini me but he was also relieved to be back on Misty Island. Did you see the dragon? asked Thomas. Yeah, he was amazing. So they retreated to a safe distance and watched the volcano erupt. I'm Dave and thanks for watching my video which featured the brand new Take and Play Daring Dragon Drop Set from Fisher Price. First, press down the volcano, so when Thomas passes, he flicks the switch and the volcano erupts. Then push Thomas up the volcano until he's in the dragon. Then tip the lava back and watch Thomas zoom down the zip wire.
push the dragon back into the volcano and press it down to start all over again. The set comes with the Thomas and the shield.
Oh, none. Uh-oh. The wind has blown the treasure map into the water. How can the minions get it back? Easy, easy. Okay, Zuma, said Ryder. Looks like a minion has fallen into the water. Let's go and save him. Zuma, you can get into this. Good luck and watch out for sharks. Well done, Zuma, you did it! Hopefully the minions can now enjoy their new treasure. Hello Thomas, you look different, said Percy. Yes, I've been repainted to go on a special errand to the mine, on a volcano, whatever that is. That sounds nice Thomas, enjoy it, and off he steamed. Thomas started his journey to the mine, he felt proud in his new coat of paint, Then, he met Diesel 10. I hear you are going to the volcano, Thomas. Yes, I am, said Thomas. That's brave, said Diesel 10. Brave? Uh, what do you mean brave, said Thomas. Still, steam is a use to fire and smoke, said Diesel 10, and off he went.
Thomas started to get worried. Diesel 10 called me brave. Either he's not feeling very well today, or I'm going to be doing something dangerous. Thomas was getting nearer the volcano. He met Victor. Victor, why did you repaint me? Oh, it's a special coat of paint to help you cope with the heat of the volcano, Thomas. A volcano has erupted at the top of the mine and there's some miners trapped in the building there. The railway track passes right by the building. All you have to do is get close to the building, get the miners and leave quickly. It will be very hot, but be quick because the rails may buckle in the heat. Thomas realised the urgency and carried on quickly. He turned the corner and stopped. There was the volcano. Oh my goodness, said Thomas. I must hurry. He started the approach to the volcano. It was already hot. He got near the top and saw the miners building. There's no turning back now, he said, and he steamed towards the building. The miners jumped in Thomas's cab, but Thomas's weight buckled the hot track. He sent rocks flying and the track collapsed under him, but somehow he managed to stay on the rails and get out before a flow of hot lava fell down on the track. I made it! I made it, he said, and steamed away from the volcano. Thomas stopped and let the miners out of his cab. They thanked Thomas and gave him a big cheer. Hooray! Thanks for watching our story, which was based on the track master Thomas's volcano drop set. This set features a real steam Thomas engine. You fill his boiler with water from the filler provided. Turn him on and real steam comes from his funnel. Except this is very cool and safe to touch for young hands. Thomas steams up the circular track along to the mine which then triggers a rockfall as Thomas and the track lower to the ground. Thomas then steams out, just escaping the lava stream.
Oh no! Captain Hook has stolen some surprise eggs! <laughs> He's getting away, Jake! Load the cannon! Fire! Good shot! Nice one, Thomas. I wonder what's inside. It's Chug. Looks like Hook's got one in that chest. <laughs> Fire! Another good shot. <laughs> What's in this Kinder Egg? It's a bike! Grrr. <laughs> now Hook's got one hidden in that cave! Fire! Blimey! Exploded! So what's in this Toy Story egg? It's Twitch! He's got one hidden in another cave. Fire! That'll keep him down for a while. So who's in the J egg? It's Scully! Ah. Oh no! Hook's trying to escape on Diesel! Fire! What a shot! Diesel didn't even notice! Nice one, Thomas. That's the last we'll see of Hook for a while. So what's in the ugly pet shop tub? It's Jeremy Shepherd. And Horrid Hamster. Well done, Jake. 
you managed to save everyone.
The Green Goblin and Diesel 10 have stolen all the chocolate eggs on the island of Sodor. We're going to have to get them back, said Iron Man. The Green Goblin noticed the superheroes at the station and quickly got onto Diesel 10. I'll go first, said Captain America, and off he went with Thomas. The track was very bumpy and one of the eggs fell off the train without the Green Goblin noticing. Thomas and Captain America came across the plane's egg on the side of the track. They took it back and opened it at the station. It was now Hulk's turn to get another egg back. Hulk got off and with his enormous strength threw the egg onto the platform. He then leaped after it and began to unwrap. The Green Goblin was still on the move, but dropped another egg. I'll see if he's dropped another one, said Captain America, and off he went. He got off the train to pick the Kinder's Transformers egg up and carry it back to the station.
Thomas was catching Diesel 10 up. Noticing this, the Green Goblin threw one of the eggs off to try and speed up. Hulk stopped to pick the egg up. Diesel 10 and the Green Goblin were racing along when all of a sudden they came across a log on the track. Seeing them stop, Iron Man quickly flew in to take the egg from behind the Green Goblin's back and flew back to the platform to open the egg. We have to go through the log, said the Green Goblin, but Diesel 10 crashed, which knocked the Green Goblin over. Iron Man then swooped in and grabbed the Green Goblin and dropped him into the water. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then click on any of these clips to watch more. See you soon.